well it doesn't sound like a real guitar but uh, it can play the chords like this so let's get started I'll explain the chord step wise so the first thing I have done is I have imported Mido so this is a open library to play the sounds then to give a certain pause I am importing the slip command and I am also importing enum library to enumerate different types of chords and different type of strumming patterns so let's unfold this then I have created a enum type class to declare different types of chord types so I have basically used four major chord types which is major chord, minor chord, augmented chord and diminished chord so when you use a enum class so it's quite easy to access it by using its name I've also used a class of strum pattern so basically I have used five major patterns in guitar then then the middle library uses different numbers for each note so I have manually assigned the numbers for each note so A is 57, A sub is 58 and it goes on by increasing with one if you want some more octaves notes then you can easily add the numbers for them for example you can again add A as 69 and so on so every message that we give to the middle library is opened by middle.open output command so it play all the messages written in middle so first we need to know how the middle plays the note so we have to find a function named note so in it there are three parameters the first is the note a number that specifies a certain note so we have already specified different numbers for different notes the velocity means the volume at which the note is played the default value is 64 so if you need higher volume then you can increase the velocity to around 100 or something like that so time is the duration to which it plays so what this function does is it returns a message to play the note then we have another function which is named as note off what it does is it stops the note being played so to actually play a note you need to write the two chords first you need to play a note and second you need to stop the note being played I've also used a function and pause that pauses for a fraction of a second between the two notes so that chords that we play seems natural then we have a major function to play a chord so there are different parameters over here the first is the root note which is the main note of the chord that is represented with a number that we have already assigned duration is the sustain time for the chord like how much seconds does it play and I have added a new parameter called is natural sounding so this is a boolean type so you can assign it to be true when you want to play it with a natural sound and if you just only want the digital sound then you can play it uh, false so is down and up so if you have played guitar so you know that while strumming you can go down or up so if is down is true then it seems more like when you are strumming down and if it is false then it seems more like you are strumming up though digitally we are coding the same thing to play in the chord but I have used some different codings for down and up so that it feels natural and chord types are already enumerated as different major, minor, augmented and different types of chords so let's see how it works so if the chord type is major so you need to know the interval so if you have the basic knowledge of music theory so you must know while you are playing the major chord so you play the notes on the interval of first four and then seven similarly for minor it's three and seven for augmented it's four and eight and for diminished it's three and six so let's see when the strumming is down we play these different types of notes and for to play the chord you can only play the three notes but to add brightness I have added many notes over here so one two three four five notes are played to play a chord so it sounds more bright than only playing three notes so basically playing the chord means first you play these five notes then again stop playing the notes 
command and else command whenever whenever it is up so what I've done is I have uh, inverted some chord notes so that it sounds different from the downstrumming part so if this is upstrumming part so I have decreased the velocity or the volume because while you are playing the upstrumming the sound is somewhat lower than what you play in downstrumming so all the thing remains the same so I have created a function for the strumming so let's see about the parameters here the root is same like the major key node in number so core type as already given in the enum list so BPM is the actual tempo of playing and is natural sounding I have already discussed and for strum we have got the strumming patterns as allocated above so I have just used a simple mathematics for strumming so if the strumming pattern is down down up up down down then I just with a heat and trial I just saw that in 60 BPM the 16 parts are played in 4 seconds so just using the simple unitary method you can get the duration for each uh, part to be played so I have divided it into 16 parts the 16 parts mainly includes the sum of all these durations of each part so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 so total 16 parts are played and for each part the duration is given so uh, with this just heat and trial method I have devised uh, to play the pattern of down, down, up down down so for similar cases I have also coded for every strumming patterns and the timing for it you can see the basic understanding of how it works and at last the major part comes so this is the output part first the audio will play the chord Z chord Z major chord for 2 seconds then it will play E minor chord for 2 seconds then C major chord for 2 seconds T major chord for 2 seconds we don't need a tempo to just play a chord then comes the turn of strumming for strumming we need to assign the tempo so I have assigned the tempo as 60 BPM so for this it will strum Z major chord with a BPM of 60 and uh, is natural sounding is false that means it will sound more digital than natural and the strumming pattern is down down up so there are two different patterns I have assigned and uh, at last it will play a Z chord and then keeps on playing until you are done so, so it will play the audio like this